Here we are on the dashboard of our WordPress site, and to use the press this function, we need to first go to the tools area of our main navigation, and then click on available tools. And you can see here we have this item called press this, and press this is a little app that you can install on your browser that allows you to quickly post things to your blog. First, all you need to do is grab the press this bookmarklet and drag it into the toolbar of your browser you should see a button called press this. Now the way that you use press this is actually not on your WordPress site but when you're surfing the internet and on other websites. For example we're on Wikipedia and we're doing a little bit of research on jazz. If we wanted to we could grab a piece of text here and then by going up and clicking on the press this bookmarklet we see in our view a small version of the editor that we find inside the dashboard of our WordPress site and you can also see that the text that we highlighted has been added to our blog article as well as a link back to the original source and it's even included the title for us automatically. All you need to do here is click on publish to publish it to your website or if you like you can save it as a draft so that you can work on it later inside the dashboard. You also have the ability to set categories as well as tags for this particular post right inside of this mini editor window. The press this bookmarklet also works to find media that's on a particular web page that you're looking to share on your website. For example, we're on Vimeo and we're looking at this video that we'd like to share on our website. By clicking on the press this bookmarklet, you can see that not only has it added links for us about the particular video itself, but it's also discovered for us the embed code of the video itself. If we just click on the link to insert the video, you can see that it's added the video to our blog post. We can go ahead and add more text if we want at this point, or we can just go ahead and click on publish and publish it to our blog. Once we click publish, we can see that our post has been saved, and we're given the option to view our post. From here, we're taken back to our website, where we can see the blog post as it's published on our website. Press this also works to find images on a website as well, if you want to embed those in your blog post. For example, we found an image that we like on Flickr that we'd like to share on our blog. All we need to do is click on the press this button again, and in the mini editor that pops up, you can see that it's already discovered for us some of the images that are on our site, and displays them as a grid of thumbnails. From here, we just need to select the image we want to use, and then in a pop-up window, we can add a description or simply insert the image. You can see in our visual editor that it has been inserted for us, as well as a link back to the original source. Again, all we need to do is publish this article by clicking publish, and once we see the post has been saved, we can go ahead and view the post in our site. So here on our site, we can see that we've added this blog post that has embedded the image for us automatically, as well as provided a link back to the source, all using the press this bookmarklet.